Well, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, we busted out the freaking forehead with the elephant coming in today. My God, how are you doing, my good man? Very nice to see you. You got the blue eyes rocking. You got the blue eyes rocking. I do have to say you have better dance moves than a panda. I took it that far. Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and walk on in, turn on the lights for today. Really, if you watch all the way up until the end of the last episode, you understand that we have struck gold. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Look at th this. I don't know what to say. This is this is the greatest day of my life, besides the, the birth of my guinea pigs. And maybe the day I got married. <laughs> no, I'm a little shaded. I'm a little shaded. You know, we have this running joke about a forehead and, and, and some things and whatnot. And I think it hurts most when it comes from the wife. She's like, you know what? You do have a pretty big forehead. And I'm like, you know what? You married this, sweetheart. You should have known what you got yourself into. I don't know if it's a good or bad thing. She hasn't really uh, told me that. She just agrees with the fact. And so I just kind of roll with the punches. Anyway, I'm, I'm kind of getting off track here. Uh, we just sold a computer. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that that's the size of a computer. that We just sold one. So what I want to do today is I want to kind of expand... I mean, everything, really. I, I would like to eventually expand the... Um, shop itself with pushing down the walls but I, 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 I've kind of refused to do that because if I do really it, it's just gonna like nothing <laughs> like it's already empty enough in here and it's just gonna make it more empty and I don't really necessarily would want to do that let's go ahead and uh, get our PC on uh, upgrades you know what what we oh my god $3,800 what else do we have as far as improvements goes well, obviously, the additional area that we just talked about, the CCTVs, and so on and so forth. Some people said that there, there has been theft in their games, and some people say there's no theft in their games. So, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't felt it. I haven't felt... Oh, my God. The G100. Every time I load up the game, it feels like every time I load up the game, the star rating goes up, and then, like, as I progress through the game, the star rating goes down. So, maybe what I do is I kind of take advantage of what we have right now which is kind of like the three stars. So 860, computer G100. Let's get a few of those in. Monitors, well, we don't have any other monitors. Keyboards, well, we could get this keyboard. Let's get a few of those in. Uh, mice, oh, the Logi Z2 RG, where the frick? Let's get that in. Uh, mouse pad, we haven't done that yet. Computers, no, speakers. Oh, we can get the big boy speakers. That's kind of cool looking. Uh, microphone. I feel like I'm on like the, uh, oh, I, I do want to get the microphone. I feel like I'm on the edge here a little bit. And why I say that is because I feel like my rating is going to go down and I'm not going to be able to, to pick up this, the console Zeus X. And they're, they're going to all just disappear. Like even the chairs. How much money do we have? $6,000. Okay. Let's, let's <laughs> back it down a little bit. My good man. Uh, maybe not the chair. 5,600. Bring down, bring back one more chair. Add instant. Yeah, we'll do that. That's a lot of stuff that we just ordered. Uh, quite a bit of stuff, and that's gonna bring us some good profits. Gonna fill out the store a little bit. I should, I definitely should think about adding more uh, fixtures and things like that. But we actually have that fixture. I, I forgot what we had this extra fixture that we bought. But I want to get this fixture in. This one right here. I want to kind of get another one of that. Let's go ahead and make sure this place is clean for this officer that's gonna buy a gaming chair. You love to see it. How cool is that? Good for you, bud. I know plenty of law enforcement uh people in real life that play video games yeah you know what they usually play like call of duty and battlefield <laughs> that's usually what they play yeah it's kind of kind of great oh my god all right 840 dollars was that for the chair 840 dollars no yeah that was my god good lord let's go ahead and add this this is going to take a little bit of time to do but i think it will be well worth it We'll put the consoles over here, or the console. I don't know if I got multiple or one. That looks like an old school, um, like, I don't even know what that looks like. That looks like it's something straight from the 80s or 90s there. But it's apparently the most expensive and coolest thing of all time, so we're going to keep it coming. There we go. Whoops. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. All right. Yeah. So, I think our liquid, <laughs> I want to say liquid gold, but nothing in here is liquid, thankfully. Uh, but I just really like, oh my god, this thing is huge. Oh, that's a beefer, dude. Let me see that. Let, let me take a look at that ass. Whoo, good all god almighty. 
Look at you. Look at you. You are one. Per you know what actually would be really cool if you could add to this game? <laughs> um, if if the developer decided to, you know, something that kind of is actually, I'm now thinking about it, and it's kind of lacking in a lot of games, I think. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, please feel free to correct me because that's what the comment section's for. Apparently. Um, but, like, RGB lights. Like, RGB light strips. You know how, like, everybody and their freaking mother does nowadays with their gaming setups? What if you could do that in, like, some of these games that we play? Like, some of these simulators. Um, like, Streaming Life Simulator. Um, this game. Internet Cafe Simulator. You know, kind of spice it up. I mean, what's a gamer or a gaming uh, place without RGB light strips, you know? Stuff like that. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. I don't think I am. I think there's a there's a fine line of... Uh, I think people just do it. I think gamers... I think that's just kind of the gaming culture now. Of course, like, I... I like, even myself, I, I, I will say it. I'm guilty. I'm guilty for having an RGB strip in my... In my... In my, um, in my room here. Um, there was a time and place, like once upon a time on this channel, there's a bunch of, like in my older videos, I didn't have a green screen. So like I had to use my backdrop and I had, I had an RGB LG, whatever the frick, you know, RGB <laughs> light strip, um, in the background. I, I had that at one point or another. Now I have like a green, it's like a green screen, but it's like a, it's a homemade, budget green screen it's it's actually just green fabric i got it like my local joann's you know fabric store <laughs> and got like a like two yards or something of green this type of green fabric and just thumbtacked it to my wall i would like to upgrade my green screen sometime in the future just so because like see how like limited this is i don't want i don't want to be constricted i don't want to be constricted i feel like i'm constricted i i, I can't do all my all my duties <laughs> when I when I feel constricted, you know. I don't know. There's another computer. There we go. Now we're gonna make a lot of money just placing. Well, obviously we're gonna make a lot of money, but we're gonna be making a lot of money just simply as we sit here and stock our store up. I have talked about this before, and it's <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> my bad. I have talked about this before, but um. I feel like there's going to be a point in this game where it's going to be so hard to keep things in stock. Maybe. I don't know. I could be wrong. Hmm. But I think I've talked about that already. Look at that. That's actually a really cool color. I had one of these kind of gaming chairs before. Not like this kind of luxury one. Or like a $150 one. And there's a black and white one. You can see it in my older videos as well. I, I can't believe I just came out here when I had my inventory full. I did not like it. I think it might have been the, the brand, the quality. It was not comfortable at all. These ones, and the ones I've seen like recently, like how they have a lot more extra cushion, those ones look comfortable. But the one I had that I got years and years and years ago, it was not comfortable. And then I sold it to some girl here in town. She bought it for like 50 bucks. And she was a little, small, little, tiny little girl. Girl I would fit in my pocket probably. And... Uh, <laughs> She wanted it for her gaming setup, dude. And I was like, you know, all right, cool. And uh, all I got to say is bless her. Hopefully she's more comfortable than I was. But yeah, th there's a little tiny girl out there that uh, has not like a tight, not like a child. I'm talking like a, I'm talking as an adult woman who happens to have a very small build that could possibly fit in my pocket with some, you know, I think she had some blue dyed hair ish, ish. And she was doing some gaming, dude. You know, and uh, she wanted a chair. And, uh, you know, hopefully it's comfortable for her because it was not comfortable for me. But I used to have that black and white chair in my older videos as well. Find that too. Um, yeah. I have a, like, Danielle has has a friend that is, like, super into um, gaming, dude. But her gaming and, her, like, her and I, like, she's been, like, she's been, like, interested in what I'm doing. Because she's a she's a hardcore gamer. Most of you know. Spoiler alert. Um, Danielle is not like a gamer. <laughs> she's just not a gamer, you know. And so, but her friend is, and her friend has always been interested in what I do. And she's like, oh, that's that's kind of cool, right? Yeah, okay, cool. But uh, she plays like we've never been able to like 
not touch tips, but like connect in a way because she plays games that I don't play and I play games that she doesn't play. <laughs> so we never had that uh, connection even when she did come around, if you know what I mean. Uh, so this is actually pretty cool. We're going to get our first VR set in. We're going to go boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Uh, she plays like WoW, World of Warcraft, League of Legends. I, I, I can't play those games. I physically and mentally can't play those games. Mostly mentally. Uh, I've tried, I've tried, I've tried. Well, not World of Warcraft. I, I take that back. I, I can play that, but I'm talking like League of Legends. Can't play that. Can't play that. Too much sweating. Too much sweat lords going on there. Can't handle it. Nope, 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 nope. Some people play games out of a pure passion. Some people play games out of a pure, like, this is why I, I exist. This is why I live. And if you do not play it correctly you will hear from my lawyer. Like, that's the type of people <laughs> that I don't want to get myself mixed into. And that happens sometimes even here on YouTube. It's like, as a variety, as playing variety, right? Variety games and whatnot. Um, you kind of sometimes attract a certain audience that expects way more from you. And they have no idea what the channel is mainly about. And so they kind of... Uh, like I said, they expect the entire world from you, and it's kind of impossible to be good at every single game that has ever been created. And the way I like to play games is I like to experience games firsthand. Like this game, for this for this exact reason, this series, I started playing this game, um, and I played it blindly on camera so that if you were to buy the game yourself and play it blindly for yourself, and you were to take this game home, and you're like, hey, I'm going to play it, and you know, this is my experience... We might have a similar experience because I didn't like fudge the numbers here and like try to sell you this game and like play like five hours offline, you know, to get good at the game and then show it off to you. Some people like that. Some people like people being like the god of everything. I'm not. I, I, I don't like that. <laughs> I, I don't like being that. I don't like being the god of everything. I like to learn as I go throughout the game because um, it's fun. And plus, that's kind of a little bit, and I've talked about it before many and many a times. What the heck is going on here? Okay, that's fine. Um, I've talked about it many a times. Like, that's the point of a Let's Play. Let's Play is like we play together, not I play and you watch. Well, I mean, that's kind of a little bit of it. But I play, you have input, we do stuff together, we collaborate in the comment section, We, I take some ideas from you, you teach me a few things here and there, and it's kind of like a win-win you know, scenario. You're involved, I'm involved, we're all involved. That's a let's play. I think people are forgetting what let's is. What is the word let's? Well, it's not I play. It was, oh my god. If it was I play, then I would just ignore every single one of you. Kind of going off tangent. This is going. It's like going on a rant here. My bad. There we go. But I got to do something, say something, so that we can kind of get this going on. Now, now that we are starting to get variety of stuff, obviously we're not selling computers right away. Now, I feel like one cheat that you can do in this game, if you really wanted to, is not have the variety. Let's just say we had a store that consisted of that computer and that computer, and that was it. Then the customers are forced to buy those computers and then in return the customer or you will get money, 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 right? Uh, but if we have variety, obviously the money will come in slower. So be it. But it looks good. It's starting to look nice. I did talk about wanting to have decorations like paintings or something. And, you know, hopefully that's the case sooner or later. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where this game heads as we go through it here. But, um, yeah, I just expect the best. Or I expect the best. I, I would appreciate to have the best. <laughs> um, so let's go buy this. Actually, excuse me. Hang on. Let's make sure we get our money first. I'm going to use the $1,800 I just got. I'm going to use the $1,800 to buy one, two, three, maybe. I don't think I'm going to have enough money for shipping. Oh, my God. I have enough money for shipping. We're going to buy three shelves. Oh, baby. And we're going to put those right into the middle of the store. Wow, these are big boxes. This is pretty cool. I like how big these boxes are. Kind of neat, dude. There we go. There we go. Okay. And let's start filling out the middle of this aisle, or middle aisle-ish. Oh, you're going to buy that chair? All right. 
So let's rotate it. One thing I do like about this like placement is that it's 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 very snapped. Like um, it's like a ninety degree angle every time, and I like that because it kind of keeps things. Yeah, look at that. Kind of keep like it's not centered. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not centered. That will drive me nuts. Okay. I like the fact that it is is a ninety degree angle because um, it kind of keeps the store clean ish when you're placing items. I don't know. Maybe some people like that. Maybe some people that don't. I personally like it. Oh my god! I wish those kind of snap together. That's a little bit better. Yeah. Look at the elephant. It's like right on his trunk. I'll take it. I'll take it for sure. Okay, and then we'll place this here. I don't know what exactly I'm going for here, but I, I think it will look good. Did that line up pretty good? Yeah, that, that lined up pretty good. And I want to put, like, big items on these big shelves. You know, monitors and whatnot. I am glad... Oh, my God. There we go. Cool. Okay, great. Now we can start filling up this middle aisle a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Very well. <laughs> Very, very good. Okay. Yeah, so let's go ahead and put some monitors on there. Maybe some, like, oh. Uh, well, uh, I was thinking, <sighs> let's run it. Let's run it here. $300, choose a bet, run it, send me, you son of a bitch. I tried. I tried. I'm not good at it. Yes, yeah, so let, I would like to get this one. Honestly, I would before I do anything. But let's just, let's bring in a bunch of monitors. Let's go a bunch of monitors, so, like, Maybe five monitors. What else is kind of big? Like the computers are obviously big, right? Speakers are, I mean, they weren't that big. Microphones, cameras, consoles are big. Tables are going to be something that we use for the actual table shelves. I guess VR? No, monitors. It's just monitors, really. Monitors is, is like some of the biggest items that we can have. Okay, let's have eight monitors. Where does that lead us? $2,400? $2,552? Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Got to spend money to make money. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Monitor here. Very good. Monitor here. Monitor here. Now, this might be too much. Eight monitors might be too much for these four shut. Well, actually, no. This should be fine. These things are just big, dude. I don't know what I should put underneath the monitors. I really don't. If I should put anything? No, yeah, well, I should, because I don't want to have emptiness here. I mean, maybe I can make this a PC kind of area, or shelving, shelving type thing. So, I can go monitors on top, and then you can go, like, keyboards and stuff, and mouses and mouse pads and things like that. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. All right, I'm starting to talk myself into my own thing here. All right. I'd like to start categorizing, like, start, you know, making things look decent. I think that's pretty okay. If I wanted to, can I slide this underneath? Ugh. No. It would clip through. So the monitors can only be placed on top. Okay. That's all right. Go. There we go. And there we go. <clears throat> I can add two more, I think, right? Yeah, two more. That's exactly eight. Oh, that's perfect then. Sometimes I, I, po I post updates in the community tab. And so the other day... I posted an update in the community tab. For people that probably watch this, they're probably interested in this game. But uh, there's a big update coming to Internet Cafe Sim 2 uh, very soon, at, towards the end of February. And the devs have said that in this new big update, there's going to be new stuff added to the game. And things that are going to be added, which they haven't said, which I'm, you know, obviously can't tell. They, 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 they hinted at you can play the game entirely over again and have a new experience. And I'm super stoked over that because I really, really enjoyed um, Internet Cafe Sim 2. So towards the end of the month, I think it was like February 26th or something, 24th or something, um, we are going to be, be probably playing Internet Cafe Sim 2 again, uh, over from scratch, probably. And we're going to see all the new stuff that has been added. And kind of like the new experience, I guess, that they hinted at. So I'm very excited about that. Go ahead and add some more keyboards. Um, little tiny things. Uh, keyboards and mouse that we can just add. And mouse pads. First time using mouse pads here. This kind of reminds me of Internet Cafe Sim 2, especially that one. 
Um, <clears throat> which mouse pads should we do? Um, uh, I guess the more expensive ones, like the big ones, like the big wide ones. How much is that? That's so many. 1100 <clears throat> Sorry if I'm losing my voice. 1300 Send it. This is going to be a ton of boxes. Probably a lot of, like, tiny boxes, yeah? Let's see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a little, like, a bunch of tiny little boxes. I want to, like, get, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars, and I just want to spend it all on big items. And I want to see, like, the entire back alley be filled with just crap. <laughs> just to see what it, that would be like. There we go. Put the mouse pads. I'll put the mouse pads on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Look at that big baddie. Oh, that's cool. Nice. I'm going to put this on this side. Or should I put it on the other side? Let's put it on the other side. Let's go this side. Damn it, I put it upside down. <laughs> Damn it, I put it upside down. Put it right side up. Very good. Okay. We're going to need to go across the street here soon and get some water and some, some drinks and all that. Or, sorry, drinks and water. Uh, food and water or food and drinks. There we go. This is the one part of the game that I just wish that you could just hold more. Like, I don't know why you can't hold more. I don't know why there's not an upgrade where you can't can hold more. Like, why? Explain that one to me. Probably can't. So there we go. And I, I wish there was music, dude. Like, the fact that there's no music. What the heck, man? You gotta listen to my voice here instead of listening to the background of some great music. It's potentially great music. I feel like, like... I don't know. Did anybody play the... Like, did the dev play the game and be like, you know what, maybe it is a little bit quiet. I don't know. I don't... Like, I don't want to throw shade to the dev because, honestly, hopefully, if anything with having the little bit of extra exposure motivates him to update the game a little bit more with adding more stuff, which is always good. I think I put that in the wrong way. I just, um, you know, just trying to give you some, some some good ideas, man. Music. Just a simple soundtrack on freaking loop or something. I don't know. It would change the world. Change the game. There we go. I like this so far. I like where this is headed. Oh, God. In the daily news here, the daily bugle, please, please, garbage, there we go, all right, more garbage, haven't heard the buzzer beater go off, what I mean by the buzzer beater, I mean the, uh, you know, the theft alarm, it could bring over those keyboards right over, but I'm gonna hold off for a sec, <clears throat> one thing at a time, get everything through here, my voice is, I'm losing it, losing my voice, <clears throat> Please do not do that. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so I need to go run on over real quick after I place these and uh, grab some food and drink. This could be some more PC stuff. There we go. There we go. And then let's go ahead and add this. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, let's go get some food. Get it going, elephant. Get it going. Get it going. I hear my guinea pig out there in the kitchen. Yeah, they're in the kitchen. Well, they're not really in the kitchen. They're, like, in the living room slash kitchen-ish area. They're just by... They're kind of by the refrigerator. So they know when it opens. And they squeak at me. They yell at me. But um, I can hear them chewing on their wood out there. And it's very loud. I don't know who would be doing that. Probably Eleanor. Little saucy one. <clears throat> Hairless one. There we go. Have we sold any of these big PCs? I feel like we haven't sold a single big PC, which is actually kind of, what the heck is the trash doing outside here? Which is oh my god, which is kind of bad because, like, if we sell one of those PCs, that's like GG, dude, game over. <laughs> I mean, I can influence it a little bit to, for them and be like, uh, you know, hey, uh, take everything off the shelf and just leave the, that computer in the in the. Um, god, the, the, I'm so distracted by the the wood banging out there. It's very loud. Um, I could just like manipulate the game and be like, hey, all I sell is that one single PC and like roll in the cash. Like we're looking at potentially like $600 more with the sell of that PC. Like from that PC compared to that PC is what I'm trying to say. That's a big deal. There we go. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. 
There we go. <clears throat> but at least the customers are getting... I think she bought one of those black and black PCs. At least the customers are getting quality products, I guess. Let me define quality at this point. Let's grab here. 1920. So yeah, that was the black PC that was sold. I'm waiting for like the big bucks. Give me the big white one. I think I'm going to be... Um, I think it would go for like 2400 That's my guess. 2400 I could be wrong. 8, 16, 24. No, that would be like 24-ish hundred. 24-ish... Almost 2,500. That's what I'm guessing here. There we go. Just place it down. Forehead. There we go. Very well. Come on over here. Doesn't look like anybody is very thrilled about these mouses or mouse pads. That's all right. Probably by the end of this episode, I will just go ahead and uh, expand the... Um, the like buy the additional area for the shop just to kind of see what we're working with really. And maybe I'll put like the desk, make like a desk compartment, like not compartment, but department, kind of like an Ikea, you know, like have the desk and chairs over here or something. I don't know. I think that'd be kind of cool. Go, go. This is like the longest and drawn out part of this entire game is this inventory space if i want anything in the next update it's inventory space give me more give me like six items that i can carry like just double my inventory space and um i'll be happy <laughs> and of course like add a little bit more of like content like eh, you know maybe a video game or two <laughs> but i want spinoffs dude i would love spinoffs that'd be cool as hell Oh, hi. How are you? That's actually me. That is actually me. That's not me. Nope, that is not me. Well, actually, the height is kind of me. <laughs> All right. How much money have we made here? <clears throat> Let's see. Have we made $5,000? Can we improve the shop itself? Nope, wrong button. No, we haven't even made $5,000. Even overall, like, income, income per day, almost six grand, but, like, all time... $100,000. Could you imagine making $100,000 in 11 days of, like, your store being open? That would be insane, dude. I mean, it's crazy insane. Okay, so the, like I said, recap. Last thing we need, CCTVs installed. Uh, additional area. And that's pretty much it. That's all we have left. Now, oh, wait. How about our... Have we got new... We did get new paint, but, like, the new paint is very not that cool looking. I think if I want... In the future, I'm kind of leaning towards like a purple, a blue kind of paint. I guess it's kind of the best, right? How's our reviews overall, though? For 5.98, we still are sitting at two hey, and a half. Subscribe! Hey! Garcia? Thank you. Thank you. Um, Sitting at like two and a half stars. Now, does that mean we've lost our ability to buy... No. Okay, we haven't lost our ability to buy that computer. Very well. Very, very well. All right. <clears throat> so what else do we, we should, should we bring in? Well, we have keyboard. Well, we could bring in more keyboards. Uh, we have the VR that hasn't sold. I would like to start doing more consoles. Yeah, let's bring in more consoles. Let's bring in... This is weird, dude. The fact that this was a three-star for a $400 priced console and this was a $500 priced console for a one-star, like, I don't know. Why is there no PlayStation? Like, there's an Xbox, but there's no PlayStation. <laughs> find that kind of strange. Let's bring in some Xboxes. Bring in some Xboxes, and then let's bring in some of these game pads, like controllers. Kind of thing. There we go. And we'll get all those in. Now we can start, you know, having Xboxes and game pads and whatnot. All right, so let's go. Assuming the Xboxes are in the bigger boxes, they are. I like that the game does that, though. Okay, a bunch of Xboxes. <clears throat> I want those big PCs sold. I want that big white one sold. Like I said, there's a, there's a little bit of a downfall here kind of going on. And that's like... The, it doesn't seem like items are... Um, how would I say it? Items are not... There's no appeal rating to them, I guess. Is that the right word to say? There's no like... A customer is coming in because they really, really want or they're really impressed with 
X, whatever the X is. So, for instance, if I had this computer and that computer, like the two different computers, which one is a higher rating? Well, obviously from stars, this is the higher rating one, but this one is selling more of. I don't know if there's a price thing that the customers kind of worry about, but this is not selling at all. Like we have not sold a single one. And this is a lot of money. This is a lot of money just sitting there doing nothing, right? So I guess there's like, I, I think it's really based off of RNG. So it's, it's basically random, right? The customer comes in not for a desire. You know how in some, uh, like I'll say King of Retail. So like in King of Retail, the customer comes in and they're wanting a specific item. I don't think that's what's happening here. I think the customer comes in, yo, Shaniqua, we're about to get it going here, baby girl. Ah! Come on. Come on. Ring this lady out. Ring her out. Hit the, hit the button. Hit the button. Green, blue, purple, orange, blue, green, blue, purple, orange. I don't care. Let me see how much money this is. $2,500. $2,500 for that single P PC. Is it timing? Like, sometimes timing just works out. Like, you could sit and complain about something. And then it just, Boom. I think the game heard me. They're like, all right, fine, well, so, you know, fine. Someone will come in and finally buy a PC from you. But that's what I'm talking about. I think the customer's coming in randomly wanting a specific item, you know? And I think one fault is the fact that there's not enough customers. So that randomness comes very, uh, very sparse. So it's like, your random chance of them wanting that PC is getting lower and lower and lower by every item you add to the store. And what did you buy? I like your outfit though. Because there's so many items to choose from, the customer has almost, you know, potentially 40 different items to choose from in the store. So you have a, whatever, break it down, one customer coming in every hour one out of 40 chance of selling a specific product, like one white computer, you know what I mean? But in this case, we have like three or four white computers, so it's like four out of 40 technically, but you can see where I'm getting at here. The more items we put, the less of a chance of that item being sold. And there's no desire. There's no customers asking for a specific uh, item. It'd be cool if there was like, kind of like events, you know, like there was a headline like, oh, today uh, people are in demand of consoles or, oh, today people are in demand of keyboards. And then like, you know, keyboards sold more than usual that day. Like if there's a little bit of events, that'd be kind of cool. I'm throwing ideas to you, Dev. I'm throwing the sticks. You got to pick up the sticks. Pick them up. Pick them up. Could you imagine being my neighbor in real life? Listen to this guy freaking yell why he's like by himself all the time. <laughs> would you knock on my door and like tell me to shut up? Or would you knock on my door and be like, this guy's a hoot. I'm going to, can I join? <laughs> can I, can I, can I help out? Can I, uh, can I come over and play a game? Like, can we, can we game out? Can we have a game sesh? You know what I mean? I don't know. I know my neighbors. Well, kind of, not really. Um, they're not from, I don't think they're from this country. <laughs> well, they live in this country now, but I don't think they originated from this country, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So their English is, uh, this is broken English. So there's like a very cultural difference. Like, what the hell are you doing? Like they're, don't get me wrong. They're very hard workers at what they do in their jobs and everything. And they wake up every single day at like six in the morning to go to work and, and do their job. And they're very passionate about their job. But I mean, just like, we're just kind of we're different, you know, and so we don't, you know, they live their life, I live my life type thing. Anyways, let's go ahead and buy this improvement and send it off. So additional area, bam! We have now upgraded our entire, yo. <laughs> Okie dokie. Wow. Um, yeah, so this was actually not what I was expecting, I will say. 
But it's a good not expecting. Like, I was expecting this wall to kind of just disappear. Instead, it's kind of like a doorway. I like this better. And I like that there's more windows. I can do more window shopping. I can add more advertisement. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put some fluoride. Like I said, the whole idea of having, like, Ikea is coming to, uh, like, a, come, coming to realization here. Like, this is going to be probably the Ikea side of the store. I'm going to have chairs. I'm going to have furniture, like computer desks here. I think we will have a good time in this uh, good section or the good, not good section, but this, this side of the place. But I got to clean it up first. Go. There we go. Who, who puts a tire in here? Really? Come on. Come on. There we go. That. And obviously we can change the colors, which I'm probably going to have multicolor. Yeah, I'm not going to have um, green all out. I'll probably have different colors just to spice it up a bit. Didn't realize how dark it was until now. <laughs> kind of dark. There we go. We'll just clean up this side. Uh, maybe <clears throat> if I have enough money, I'll add uh, a color. And I probably will change this warehouse back here. Not to have it match the... I want to do all different colors. I think I want to do that. Just all different colors. Keep it pastel. Pastel colors, I don't know. Just get crazy with it. There we go. There we go. Oh, alright, there we go. Now, it's going to cost like $400, though, which seemed a lot in the beginning. Not so much anymore. It'd be cool if you could like do something with the floor tiles, too. You can change the floor, maybe the wood, carpet, whatever you want to do. That'd be kind of cool. There we go. There we go. I think more customization to the store would be a nice uh, addition to this game. Not a bad addition. Let's see here. We should have enough money now to kind of do a little something with it, right? Do a little something something. Yeah, we have plenty. We have we have plenty. <laughs> so shop painter, uh, warehouse. We'll do a different color in the warehouse. We'll do um, like a boring grayish. And then on the left room, we'll do like this bright blue kind of thing. Oh, 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 I don't know if I like this. This is not the funky color that I was thinking of, but there wasn't really a lot of funky colors that we have unlocked yet. So maybe that will just be for now. And then when I get more funky, bright colors, I'll add that to the warehouse. But the front rooms, right? Green, looking good. Blue, looking great as well. Yeah, I'm going to put furniture in here. Chairs, desks, going to get Ikea'd up very well. Very, very well. But that's going to do it in today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of... Gamer Shop Simulator. It's been a pleasure and honor being with you here today, hanging out with you today, and having a good time with you here today. <laughs> if you want to see more, please make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new, and if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video, wherever that may be. You, as always, take care.